Hello to you, my name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Pearland Daily Culture. And this episode is devoted to all lovers of art because we are at the Royal Castle in Warsaw observing a new exhibition, The World of Rembrandt. Here with us is Regina Dmowska, an expert in Rembrandt and a conservator. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you once again. You have a lot of stories to tell about those two amazing paintings which we can observe and admire in Warsaw, two Rembrandts. Tell us, first of all, how it was confirmed that it is truly Rembrandt, not his sons, not his pupils, not a fake, but really, really Rembrandt. Attribution is a, is a really difficult stuff, uh, especially when there's no um, record documents about um, the history of the painting. In such case as our painting, it has to be proved by examination, by art historian, uh, scientists, chemists and restorers working together. And for such reasons, to establish the number of real Rembrandts in the whole entire world, a Rembrandt research project in uh, Dutch was established in the 60s of the uh, 20th century. For many years in the past, many people claimed to, to have Rembrandt because he was repeated by his pupils, students, followers in many years. Even the, in the Rembrandt time, the collectors were not sure do they have a real Rembrandt or not. Because real paintings by Rembrandt were sometimes not signed by him, but sometimes the copies by followers were signed fakely with Rembrandt's name. So the signature is so not... It's a mystery. Already it's a mystery. Even in the times of Rembrandt, it was a mystery. Yeah. Because he was popular and during yeah. his times. And people paid a lot of money and uh, other artists wanted to earn money following his style. So it's really difficult to distinguish between the original or not. And this Rembrandt research project with uh, the professor Ernst van der Vering, Vettering as the head of it, took this task uh, again. They worked for a few decades and uh, in the beginning uh, it was taught in the world that this about 2,000 real Rembrandts, but they cut the number up to sort of 300. And since our uh, Rembrandt's painting after the war were uh, hidden, they couldn't be uh, examined by a Rembrandt research project and they were found out following the pre-war black-white photographs as a no Rembrandt. So the reappearance due to the Lanskoroński uh, gift was a um, great chance for us uh, to um, examine it. So all the historians, the art historians in the world and the specialist in Rembrandt woke up suddenly that there are two new paintings which is not sure if they are real or not. As you understand, they were a gift of Ka Karolina Latskorańska to the royal castle in Warsaw. And of course, it needed to be confirmed that they are real. Yes, because of that, uh, Professor Vettering came to, to the castle a uh, few times, uh, one with uh, um, his collaborative uh, restorer from Wright Museum, then a chemist uh, from Rembrandt Research Project. And uh, we started with the uh, restoration. Armed uh, next to the arm, it was a really very fascinating time, despite it was a really hard time for restorers. Uh, we examined the technical construction of the painting, the materials, and compared with the materials used by Rembrandt by, and by other artists to be sure that this is not the, uh, the art made in the later centuries. When the professor came to Warsaw, how did the process look like that it was, uh, it was confirmed that it's true? We did technical examination of material used by uh, artists and then uh, his uh, chemist uh, checked our result and said, it's okay, it's like it should be. Uh, restorers also uh, discussed with us uh, how to treat the painting because always when we start the restoration, we don't know how it's gonna to finish. So it's still the work in progress. After the restoration was, was done, a professor was able to 
officially give the, uh, the proof by his own authority that they are by Rembrandt. Some art historians had some doubts because it's really natural. Finally, everybody agreed that there's no other pupil or student or followers of, of Rembrandt who might do this painting. The, the only person, the style, is the Rembrandt style. So we were very lucky to have this uh, final uh, decision and thanks to this, the two paintings were invited to 400th anniversary of Rembrandt's bird exhibition at his uh, former house, Rembrandt Hughes, now the museum, at Amsterdam. And uh, evermore, the girl's portrait was put into the cover of the catalogue, so it couldn't uh, be the better advertisement for, for our painting. So they became widely known. You don't have to go to Amsterdam to observe and admire real beautiful paintings of Rembrandt. They are here at the Royal Castle in Warsaw. And moreover, they are the, one of the newest, the surprise of the history, because they survived the World War II and they were confirmed as a true paintings of the master. Come and visit them. Thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture. Thank you.